very big event. Yes. Uh, it mentioned that the person sought to be seated next to the chief minister itself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, was it from the chief minister of uh, uh, CM's office? See, I have done my little. Um, I have done my little homework. I wanted to know what exactly happens. You will see if you if you have the photograph, the copy of which is available with the assembly now, because it is a property of the house now. You will be able to see that uh, it is a special event where the sitting arrangements are made table wise. Okay, so I tried to find out why there were three people hmm. on that cover: the chief minister, his lady wife, and the person concerned, that Henry. What is his full name? Lalrem Sanga. Ah, uh, Henry Lalrem Sanga. Okay, three of them in one of the high-profile official events. Okay, in Delhi in one of the five-star hotels. I wanted to know, okay, was he an invitee of this man or they were invitee of the organizers? The organizers organized. CM was one of the invitees. So he was shown as one of the associates who will accompany the CM and therefore the arrangement of the seat was requested accordingly from the office of the CM. That was what was informed to me. Since this man is alleged to be the uh, accused in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, heinous crime uh, as per the version of the Delhi police, I had to know why was the CM Meghalaya, the chief minister of my beautiful state, having to sit or why was he seated? So I had to confront the organizers also. Why did you make my chief minister sit with these people? So that is when I came to know, I was informed that no, the request came from CM's office itself. So that is the information which as a responsible senior leader of this august house and as responsible senior citizen of this state i have shared in the august house i have drawn the attention of none other than the chief minister and people who are in government now tell me one thing if you know that anybody whether uh, anybody from your family your younger brother or your elder brother or even your whoever from the family is found to be somehow knowingly or unknowingly associated with a people who is accused of such heinous crime, what would you do? Will you not advise him to dissociate, delink from being associated from with this kind of people? So this is natural advice in view of what is happening in our state. Am I not concerned about the future generation? I am. Am I not concerned about what is happening now? I am. Are people not concerned and worried about the, you know, the, 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 the speed at which the graph of this incidence of substance abuse is seen, you know, uh, ascending steeply? Therefore, you are committed to make this nation free from drug abuse. It's a national agenda. We have referred to this agenda today. We are also equally uh, sworn to abide by the collective effort, including the chief minister. So let us go by what we promise the people. It Sir, can't be just lip service. As per your... Uh, both him and myself and uh, all of us in the house, we are all public figures. Uh, I meet and I sit and click pictures with millions of people. Even if I'm walking in the street, somebody will stop me. I never say no because we are public figures. I think connecting two individuals' activities based on and, and coming to a conclusion based on a photograph, I think is the most illogical conclusion that anybody can jump to. It has to be based on evidence and on proof of what activities were taking place. And I have no clue, number one, what these uh, activities were. Uh, and I know many, many people, individuals who are there. As I said, public figures are there. As public figures, we need to talk to everybody. So I think it's very unfortunate that uh, one picture has been taken and a conclusion has been jumped into uh, of trying to implicate or indicate that I have something to do with it. If there was, then it would have come out in public. You know, if there was, then it would have been a big issue. You know, like this, I have to stop clicking pictures with public. I have to stop going to public functions. Uh, I don't think a photograph and finding two photographs to individuals, especially today in social media, 
in Facebook and all and jump to, jump to a conclusion that the two have something to do or are doing work together or are involved in something, I think is a very, very wrong conclusion to jump to. Uh, and also, even if there was some, uh, you know, program that uh, two people attended together or whatever seatings were done, I mean, these things happen. Programs are made, organizing committees make it, and we sit with thousands of people. doesn't mean that, uh, you know, that we are, uh, you know, have any um, involvement in the concern activities that were there at that point in time. You know, I could even be talking to somebody and discussing and working with somebody. But uh, again, my uh, I'm not talking about this individual. I, I couldn't even hear who the person concerned person was. But there could be cases where, uh, you know, I could be talking to somebody about something else completely, and the person could have been involved in something else completely. I think again, connecting to those those two dots and then jumping to conclusion again is wrong. So does the court case or whatever police case that was filed, does that have Conrad Sangma's name in it? I think that is the precise question. Whether we were called for any kind of discussion on it or any kind of case was filed against us, I think that is the basis on which a statement of this level by a person uh, of uh, his stature should be making. It's unfortunate that he's jumping. Uh, I'm sure that if I start looking into the internet, uh, I'll find millions of pictures of many, many other people sitting with so many other people. So I don't think that this is uh, really uh, the correct way to look at it. It's, it's sad that uh, uh, you know, a person of his level has, as I said, brought in a photograph and just jumped to a conclusion connecting two people based on a photograph of two people being clicked together. I think in today's world, it is the most ridiculous way of proving anything. So I have no comments to say about that.